Hi guys, welcome to Max Math Games School of Olympiad. In this section, we discuss various questions asked in different Olympiads all over the world, and this one was asked in Patna Mathematical Competition in the year 1986. And the question of the day is, what is the units place of this expression? And the expression is the floor function of 10 raised to the power 20,000 divided by 10 raised to the power 100 plus 3. Pause the video if you want to give this question a try, and then resume the video when you want to check out the solution. All right, then let us get started with the solution. So first of all, what we are going to do is we are going to suppose 10 raised to the power 100 is equals to some quantity. So let us call it equals to n. Then this expression will now become n raised to the power 200 divided by n plus 3 and the floor function of the same so now the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that the numerator can be expressed in some terms related to the denominator so what we are going to do is we are going to subtract and add some quantity and the quantity is going to be 3 raised to the power 200 and then we have to add the same quantity as well divided by n plus 3 and the floor function of the same so what that will do is that will actually reduce the quantity to n raised to the power 200 minus 3 raised to the power 200 divided by n plus 3 plus 3 raised to the power 200 divided by n plus 3 and the floor function of the same let this be equals to the quantity capital a and let this quantity be equals to the quantity capital b now let us analyze these two quantities separately so capital a is n raised to the power 200 minus 3 raised to the power 200 divided by n plus 3 and if we observe then this quantity can be written as n square raised to the power 100 Minus three square raised to the power hundred upon n plus three, and as you already know that x raised to the power even minus y raised to the power even is always divisible by x minus y, and therefore this numerator is always divisible by n square minus three square. Therefore, the numerator is also divisible by n plus three, and hence the numerator can be written as n plus three into some quantity, and let us call that quantity to be equals to m. Therefore, this whole expression, that is a, will come out to be equals to n plus three into m divided by n plus three. that is equals to m itself where m is going to be an integer so now that we have found a few things about a and that is a is going to be an integer let us now consider the quantity b okay now as far as the b quantity is concerned b quantity is given by 3 raised to the power 200 divided by n plus 3 therefore b Is actually equals to three raised to the power two hundred divided by ten raised to the power hundred plus three. So B is nine raised to the power hundred divided by ten raised to the power hundred plus three. So here we can observe that the numerator is less than the denominator, and hence the quantity B will be less than one, but will be greater than zero. and hence b will not contribute to the floor function so now our expression was the floor function of a plus b where a is an integer and b belongs from 0 to 1 therefore by the property of floor functions this can be written as a plus floor function of b because the integer part comes outside the floor function so this quantity will now become equals to 0 because the floor function or the jent function that is the greatest integer less than or equals to the number b will be equals to 
therefore our question reduces to a and a is given by n square raised to the power 100 minus 3 square raised to the power 100 divided by n plus 3 where n is equals to 10 raised to the power 100 all right so now moving further we know that a is an integer and as far as the numerator is concerned the numerator is 10 raised to the power 20000 minus 9 raised to the power 100 so this can also be written as 10 raised to the power 20000 minus 81 raised to the power 50 now the unit place of this expression will be equals to 0 and the unit place of this expression will be equals to 1 and hence the unit place of this whole expression that is the numerator will be equals to 9 and that is the unit place of the numerator. Now for the denominator the unit place will be the unit place of 10 raised to the power 100 plus 3 so the unit place of this number will be equals to 3 and hence for the answer we observe that the numerator is having the unit place equals to 9 and the denominator is having the unit place equals to 3 so the only possibility is that the answer will have the unit place equals to 3 that is 9 divided by 3 so the unit place of our question is going to be equals to 3 and that is the answer to this question i hope you have understood everything taught in this video Thank you.